as we continue digging, we reach this cliff, which is cut out in the rock by man going down to the pool beneath our feet. In excavating the pool, we realize it heads in this direction. However, we ourselves have put a cement wall here. We began secretly excavating this project over the course of two years. There was a generator that hung on this door, and nobody knew, but behind this wall in the center of the earth, we continued the excavation. Why? Let's see what we found. Here we see in front of us a massive open space which has now been cleared over the process of two years with a large structure above us on the surface of the earth. This, which is now being supported by steel pillars, is probably the greatest underground engineering feat in Jerusalem, which was able to support an above-ground structure and yet give us the, the ability to clear an open space, sifting through everything we found in this area. This entire structure was covered by layers of dirt, such as this one. Here we can see a cross-section of the history of Jerusalem. A hill filled with archaeological fragments dating to the first temple period. That's the biblical period, going from 1000 BCE, the first temple period from 1000 BCE in Jerusalem to 586 with the destruction of the temple. Here as we go down, we can see lines going up. Each of these lines is a cultural period in the history of the Jewish people. This stratification is typical of an archaeological site, but in fact in Jerusalem it is seen most clearly. And as we go up these, at times you find fragments that are burned, which tells us that Jerusalem was burnt. At times we find homes that are made of clay. At times we find fancier homes. It gives us a series of the history of the people in Jerusalem like a book. This stratification shows us a timeline of the history of Jerusalem. This is a wall that is formed by archaeological fragments, as we can see them sticking out of the walls. This archaeology is from the first temple period itself. Archaeologists look at this wall instead of looking at a book, and in this wall they see the history of Jerusalem as it brings them from time past all the way up to the modern-day period and the state of Israel.